so the next component that we'll be looking at will be the modal so what is a modal so modal is a pop-up window that can be shown to the user so it is a pop-up window which is used to get an action from the user and it is same as the dialog box as we have covered the dialog and it covers everything but both modal and the dialog box use cases are different which we will see later after the example of a modal and modal also has the backdrop feature which blurs the background when it's open so now we can see the properties so properties are almost same for the modal and the dialog box as well so we have the open prop to open the modal whenever it's true the modal will be open and we have the on close property as well so whenever we'll click outside of the modal so the modal will be closed and then we have some additional properties again like the hide backdrop to hide the backdrop blur feature and then we have the transition to add some animations onto the modal same as the dialog box and if you didn't see the dialog box video so i prefer you to watch the dialog box video as well so now we will see about the modal inside the material ui website so now you can see now we are in the modal and now you can see the modal component provides a solid foundation for creating dialogues popovers and light boxes or whatever else that we can use and now you can see about some modals like you can see if you are creating a modal dialog and you probably want to use the dialog component rather than directly using the modal and modal is a lower level construct that is leveraged by the following components like we have a dialog we can have a drawer we can have a menu we can have a popover feature and now you can see we have some basic modal so once i will click on the modal like now you can see this is the basic modal and now you can see we have some text inside the modal as well and now we can see other modals as well like you can see now we have the nested modals it has the nested features as well like now you can see we have the close option and we can just close the modal as well so both dialog and the modals are same but they have different use cases which we can see so now we will test the modal inside the application now we will move on to the visual studio code and here instead of this dialog now we will add the modal so we can add the modal and we can just import the modal as well and we can just add the modal here as well and now we can just move the dialog titles till the dialog actions because we don't need them and then inside of this modal then we can have the box with the material ui and inside the box we can have the typography and it can be a it is a modal so if i will now save if i will now move on to the application once again so now you can see now we have the open dialog so it should be the so now it will be the open modal not the dialog so if i will now save now you can see it is the open modal so once i will open it now you can see the modal is opened on to the full screen but the dialog was opening only on to the center of the web page because now the dialog has the paper component which applied to the center on the web page but modal is starting directly from the top left corner because we need to style the modal as well but the dialog the dialog comes with the predefined styles so we can just define the modal so first we need to define the position so we can have a position of this box and we can have the position as the absolute and after that we can have a top property can be the 50 percent from the top and then we can have the left property which can be equals to the 50 percent again to add this inside the center so now you can see it is on to the center of the web page so this is a modal and now you can see once we will click outside now the modal will be closed so this is about the modal and now we can add some buttons as well inside the modals so we can add the buttons like it get the button and it will be click me and this button will be clicked and the modal will be then closed so now we can have the on click property here as well for that and it will be the set open will be close to the false so this callback will be there so if i will now save if i will now move on to the application once again now if i will open the modal now you can see click me but now the button is not visible so we can just add a variant will be equals to the contain so now you can see the variant is now contained and once i will click on the modal now you can see the modal will be closed so this is about the modals inside the material ui that we can use and here as well we have the height backdrop property that we have discussed so we have a height backdrop which will hide the backdrop blur onto the modal like and now we have the plain background which is not blurred so this is the modal that we can use so now we can just remove that also from there and now we will see the use cases of the modal and the dialog so the dialog box covers everything that the modal has but they have different use cases so in case of the dialog box so the dialog box is used to get a confirmation message or a permission which can be skipped as well but in the use case of the modal it cannot be skipped and it needs to be answered always 
so in that case the modal is used and if we see an example the example of the dialogue can contain that a service ask you for a permission on your web page or your mobile device like allow your microphone which you can reject or you can skip as well and if you will see an example of the modal so it can be if you are on a web page which is filled with the content and there can be a modal and the content is hidden below that modal which will unlock whenever you will pay or log in or the sign up so you cannot skip that either you pay or create an account or either you cannot see that content so this is an example of a modal and the dialogues so now we have covered the modals in the material ui